Hello and welcome back to Etten Farm. We left off in the last episode where we actually sold our... I forget what we sold. Was it lentils? Still have lentils. Uh, poppy seeds. That's what we sold. Um, because the price was right. So I was just looking before I started to click record. We do have 10,000 litres of milk. And it's at a great price, uh, twelve hundred euro. So it is March. So if we move in, if we rest and move into April, it's just gonna decline. So it'll be September before we. So that'll just be too much. So we sell what we have now, while it is at some sort of a decent price. So we need a milk trailer. So I did find a very handy little one. Yeah, I think I made the wrong thing. Yes, I am over here. To do it's either of these um we, we have ten thousand, so i probably will go for the bigger one because then we don't have to just keep going the whole time with the small one so this is what we're going to go for very nice little trailer uh we probably could do a jeep to pull it but we don't have the money so this will do um yeah fine little thing i have to say this is what we're going to go with uh obviously for milk i changed the color of the hose to blue and i just put chrome wheels um the wheels they are costing two thousand, but uh oh well, might as well. So we are going to buy this because we do need it. So I will run down in the John Deere. We have our little trailer. Uh yeah, it's very the front wheels of the trailer kind of lifts off the ground. Probably is more so for a Jeep, but we will just pull up front of this lorry because for some reason cement lorries are traffic on this and they always have cars behind them it's quite annoying but uh we'll try on the beacon oh wrong button sorry very nice little trailer it'll do ideally for our milk not too sure where we go to get the milk but i would have a guess here a slurry that's water so is it here? Yep. Nice. We have 10,000, so... Um, we will have to come back for the rest. We're nearly half the trailer load. So at the end of the last episode, we saw our poppy seeds. We got a nice lump sum from that so hopefully this milk will get us a nice few pound as well and because we do need to buy a slurry spreader uh for after at least after the harvest once we harvest all our fields because we i do want to spread slurry on the fields because we have quite a lot of slurry so i will spread slurry on whatever we have enough for to do uh, i don't know if we have enough slurry for all the fields but at the minute we have nearly 20,000 litres. I think it's 17, nearly 18,000 litres of slurry. So hopefully that will be enough to do a lot of fields. <laughs> if hopefully all. By the time we come around to harvest. Uh, are you in the right place? It was. Forward. Okay, so it's saying uh, milk not accepted here. So, where does milk go then? That's going to be quite annoying if we can't. Yeah, it's saying it's not accepted at the, that, but that's the spinner. I don't understand why we can't get it in here. Get rid of it in here. That's frustrating now. Okay, so I have tried to sell this a lot of times. It <laughs> doesn't seem to be working. 
and it's not the mod um, because I did go and lease the base game Milk Lorry the not the Milk Lorry the where did I go? Um, this one or this one? Yeah, the lizard. This is the base game Milk one, so this I had to have done. And when I pull this white one up beside that chrome one, yeah, I could fill it. So I came over here with chrome one, and I couldn't empty it out either. So I don't know what we're gonna do. For the minute, I'd say we'll have to. Actually, let me just check one so one thing. Okay, so what I can do is I have uh, easy or not? Uh, how's it? Easy developments. Uh, mod. So I can remove what's in the milk tank. And I will just have to. Uh, I will give myself my own, the money that I'm owed. So what I'll do is, we have six thousand liters. I will calculate at whatever price. The milk is at the time we're selling and calculate how much i should have on the calculator give myself that much money and remove the milk from the, the tank uh through the easy developments mod so that's the way we're gonna have to do it unfortunately it won't let me sell the milk there it's weird because it says on the selling page that's where you go with the milk so anyway i will Then we could really just leave this milk uh, trailer there. Hook up to it and sell it when we want the money. So if we just keep it over enough to the grass, we should be able to still back in with a slurry tanker. No. So, how much are we getting milk for? Uh, we have 4,000 litres left, right? So 1,236. Just get the calculator. 1,236 and then multiply that by 6,000. Or, not 6,000, 6, because we have 6 liters. 6,000 liters. But that's for 1,000, yeah, so sorry, I got mixed up. 1,236 multiplied by 6 is 7,416 for that first load. There we go. No milk left and we got our 7,416. So let's refill then again. With what's left so we have just double check them what 1236 multiplied by uh where are we going uh we said 4.1 we lose the 78 liters but we'll just say 4.1 so that's 5067 euros for that so let me just empty that again and give myself the money. Now, 5,067 and we lost the milk. So that's the way we're gonna have to do the milk, unfortunately. Uh, that's kind of annoying, but what can we do? That also took a lot longer than I wanted to take to sell some milk. Um, but we will rest and progress with the next day. We do need to make hay for the cows because they really need food. So that's what we're doing. Uh, so yeah, we'll rest real quick and get into April. And we're in April. Very bright day. So, yeah. The cows, I imagine, have probably absolutely nothing. We also have another thousand litres of milk. <laughs> but cows still have food. But yeah, as you can see, they really need food. And they have a nice bit of slurry for us. So that's great. So their health is 100%. That's fantastic. Right, we really do start needing to make uh, total mixed ration also but we need straw for that and we have none so we should be able to mow grass then i imagine yes we can mow grass right perfect i will jump into the we'll mow field nine we'll mow field 10 and we'll probably mow field three we'll probably do the whole lot because we're going to fill the silage pit I'm going to have to lease a loading wagon. So we have to pull the baler out, pull the tether out, mow the grass, wind road up, and get a, of a get a lease of a loading wagon and 
pick it all up and throw it in the silage we might actually make some bales we will make some hay bales actually and uh, we half one of the fields just because we do urgently need some hay because they are extremely hungry and they won't last until the silage is fermented actually while i'm here let me see what field 10 is this must be where the sheep is obviously okay so we can actually mow this little bit oh it's actually yeah okay this is actually quite big right okay yeah perfect this will go as silage field three across the way will go as silage and i think what i'll do is with field nine here this little it's not small either but this will do is hay because we're going to need hay with the silage to make the total mix ration so that'll do is hay and we can give them a bale or two until the silage is fermented which would be great we also should be able to sell some of the silage in the pit boost our bank account which is great and i can never really complain about that so dump off the front loader and the back way and get uh, more on the on this tractor in that field there beside us. I'll also move the baler and the tether. Okay, so we have the mowers. Let's... Oh, not disconnect. Unfold that. And we can also unfold the front. Actually, turn the front one on. Oh, I'll disconnect. No. Get this bit of mowing done. Got an awful lot of it to do, and that's not ideal. We're going our home bends, but I will. We'll uh, figure something out.
as you can see, I have mowed all the fields. Um, just gonna ted this on and turn this one into hay. For the simple reason, uh, we've done this on my hay before and we need hay for the total mix ration anyway, so we can't just go making all silage. Um, because we are going to need some bales of hay. We also can't make all mixed ration until we do our harvest and harvest our straw, which I think will be next month. It'll probably be June, actually. Um, but at least we'll be ready for it when we do harvest the straw. At least we'll have the silage. Well, at least it'll be fermented by then. And at least we'll have some hay and we can make some pork mixed ration. And yeah, we also need a bale or two of hay just to give them oil the silage is fermenting because they are running quite low. So that was the plan there. Um, turned out fairly well. Mowing through it fairly quickly. Um, that mowing setup is a bit awkward. I will say. So I think I will get rid of that rear mower we have. At the Burnland. And get the Coon one. That's on a tree point linkage. Not on wheels. Uh, I just think it might be a bit better. Especially for this map. It's hard to get that one with the wheels around. Because it has such a long drawbar on it too. The way it has to swing out to the side, it's very hard to maneuver around the yards. So it might have to be sold before we do any more grass work. Um, but that is the tedding done. So I don't know if we'll get it all done in this episode, silage, but we will definitely windrow what we have mode. And then we definitely need to spread slurry on one of them grass fields because there doesn't seem to be much grass coming off so obviously they're not fertilized but I think we should try and spread some slurry on it and see if that will make a difference for the next harvest next coat of grass I'll just dump this off in here and yeah we get the windrow we'll do the windrow on the uh, fiat as well just because I'm planning on bailing the hay, so John Deere will have to do that. And also the the load magami rent or lease will also probably be a pretty big one. So it will also have to be run by the John Deere, so I'll use this for this it should be fine. Shouldn't take too long, this is a nice sized wind roar. Do the hay field first. In here closed. This shouldn't be quick. It shouldn't be a, a long job. If I, I'll see how I'm going on time. If I feel it's going to take too long, we'll just do one or two of the fields and leave the next field for the next episode, which will still be the same in game day. But. Yeah, hopefully uh, this turns out well. Hopefully we can do this nice and quick. So I will be back to you when this field is windrowed.
And that is two of the three fields, Windward. Um, I would say people have done neater windrows than that, but look, it's windrowed, the whaler will be able to pick it up. Or the load magnet will be able to pick it up, that's on the Mars. So, a lot of grass work done today, I know. Um, I don't, I tend not to try and do so much of the one all in one video because it gets a little boring. But it needs to be done because the cows are going to get into a bad state of health if we actually don't make it today so uh, the next episode will be in the same game in game same day and um, we will finish the wind run in the third field we will get that bailed and we'll probably have to lease a wrapper and wrap them or no sorry that's hey uh get that bailed get them off the field into the shade and probably even maybe two of them into the cow feed and get all this grass picked up i know i said um there didn't seem to be much grass coming off they don't look like Terrible spots. It's me. Um, so I'm hoping... I don't know. Maybe maybe they are, but did, I'd say the grass definitely needs to be fertilised. But, yeah. I'm going to leave the episode here. So, yeah. In the next episode, do the last bit of wind drone. Bale the hay and pick up all of the... Grass with the wind drawer. Or with the loading wagon. And get it into the pit and get that clamped down. And I'd say we could probably nearly move on to... Our harvest then. It won't be far away from harvest once we do that. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. If you liked, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have any suggestions for me or any tips. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you and goodbye.